Welcome to Circle Time at Home. Today we're going to do our frog paw. I have a non-fiction animal book to read, and then we'll play our game. All right, do you remember? Get your five frogs out. One, two, three, four, five. On a hot, hot day in July, five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Ribbit, ribbit. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled bug, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. She jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Ribbit, ribbit. Good job, friends. All right, here is our book for today. This book is nonfiction. That means it's real. These are some real animals. It's called Curious Critters in Ohio. Ohio is where we live. So that means that you might see these animals if you go outside to the park or your backyard or the forest. You might see a screech owl. Listen for my nighttime screeching in Ohio. Luna moth. Here's a luna moth. Look for me flying under the moon in Ohio. We live in Ohio. Possum. Look for me exploring backyards at night in Ohio. Blue Jay. Listen for me calling. JJ, JJ in Ohio. This is a groundhog. Look for my underground burrows in Ohio. This is a snail. Look for me leaving slime on logs in Ohio. This is a cardinal. Look for me singing cheer 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 in Ohio. Just so you see that this is a green June beetle. Listen for me buzzing like a bee. This kind of butterfly is called a question mark butterfly. Look for me fluttering through parks in Ohio. This is a red squirrel. Listen for me chewing pine cones in Ohio. This is a peregrine fountain falcon. Look for me swooping from skyscrapers in Ohio. This is a wood frog. Listen for me quacking like a duck in vernal pools in Ohio. This frog sounds like a duck. That's funny. This is a grasshopper. Look for me jumping through fields in Ohio. 
This is a painted turtle. Listen for me splashing in ponds in Ohio. This is a tiger swallowtail butterfly. Look for me drinking nectar from flowers in Ohio. This is a cottontail rabbit. Look for my footprints in the snow. Here's Ohio on a map. This whole yellow part, that's America. That's the United States of America. And this part is Ohio. That's where we are. R is D. And this book has a lot of um, medals on the back. It won a lot of awards. And I didn't tell you the author. The author is David Fitzsimmons. And he's also the photographer. So he photographed all these animals and he put them in his book. There's some other ones you can get too for different states. If you have grandparents that live somewhere else or go on a vacation, you can look for the other states too. But this is the Ohio one. Thanks for reading, friends. All right, for our game, we have a pattern game. So we're going to use some different colors. If you have Legos in your house, that, that might work well with Legos or just pieces of paper that have different colors on them. Or you can just play with me if you just want to look at the screen. I'm going to be using some different color stars. So I'm going to scoop back and move this down so that it's good to really. Okay. All right, I'm going to make a green pile. I'm going to make a red pile. I'm going to make a yellow pile. Uh-oh, there's something wrong with my yellow pile. Do you see it? Let's put that one back in the red pile. Make a blue pile. Uh-oh. And there we go. Okay. I'm going to make a pattern. And then I'm going to stop my pattern. When I stop my pattern, it's going to be your job to figure out what goes next. Let's see. Green, yellow. Green, Yellow. Green. What should go here? Who said yellow? Very good. All right. Put that one away. Ready for another one? Should go here. Red. Do you know what should go next? Another red. Very good. I'll do another tricky one.
What should go here? Yellow. Very good. All right. Now we're going to play two times, but this, two more times, but this time I'm going to do a pattern and then there's going to be something wrong in it. And you have to find which one is in the wrong spot. All right, let's see. Red, green. Red, hey, <laughs> that's not right. That's blue, we should take that out of there, right? All right, is it right now? Red, green, red, green, red, and then we will put another green one. Okay. Let's do... Red, red, yellow. Red. What do we need to do to fix this? Anybody know? Scooch these over. What should we put here? Red, red, yellow. Red, red, yellow. Red, red. And I want another yellow at the end. Good job. Hey friends, have fun. You can keep making patterns and you can see if your brother or your sister or your grown-ups can spot, can spot your patterns and you can even do the same game where you add a mistake and see if they can spot where the mistake is. All right, that was our game. Thanks for playing. Let's see. We did our poem, we wrote a book, and we played a game. Circles over. Circle is over, say goodbye, goodbye. Circle is over, say see you later, see you later. We've had so much fun today, doing our poem and reading our book and playing our game. But circle is over, say goodbye.